Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about Sitecore Forms. This is a Sitecore 9 introduction. For those of you that have watched my other series on form generation, uh, such as building a custom form with .NET or building uh, web forms for markers forms, this is kind of different than those previous tutorials. Sitecore Forms is now out of the box installed with Sitecore 9, so you don't need to go through the process of installing it as a module or anything like that. It's actually just going to be in your uh, default instance. So as you can see, I'm on the Sitecore 9 dashboard or launchpad, um, and you'll see that there's a, a, an option for forms here. So this is baked right into the, the initial install. I'm gonna be doing more Sitecore 9 type videos on such as Sitecore install framework and the marketing automation features uh, coming up, but I'm gonna start out with the Sitecore form. So if, if we go in and we just click on forms, uh, you'll be shown the basic dashboard for the forms engine. Here right now, we don't have anything actually created. What we're gonna do is gonna just go ahead and create a form. So out of the box, you don't really have any templates already defined or anything like that, which I'll show how you can create templates that you can define and then you can base new forms off these templates in the future. But for now, we're just gonna do a blank form. So right off the bat, the first thing you notice is that the interface for building your form is completely changed over web forms markers although it resembles web forms markers in a lot of ways. Um, not quite the same interface, but uh, a lot of the same options are there. Um, but I will note uh, with web forms markers, you're actually gonna have probably more features, uh, at least more features in terms of save actions and things like that. Uh, whereas with the new forms engine, uh, you're not gonna necessarily have those features out of the box, but I'm sure in future versions of the forms engine, you're gonna have these features. Also, I'm gonna show how to provide and build uh, customizations like I did with Web Forms Markers. I'm gonna show how to do the same customizations, building additional save actions and building additional fields uh, with, Web Form, with uh, the Forms engine. So uh, let's just get started here. Um, as you can see that you have kind of a, a building block which is sensitive to your, your mouse, your mouse actions. Um, on the right is a kind of a builder for building your form. So underneath all these options, you'll see that you have a structure, you have security, lists, and basic. And obviously, like I just said, uh, you could additionally have new ones that you could define uh, later on. And I actually suggest that you do that uh, to build out and build a very flexible forms uh, building engine. Ideally, moving from this point forward, uh, I don't see a reason why you'd want to build your own custom forms. Uh, you, what you'd really want to do is build, and let's say you're going to build a form for contact us for your site. You could build that using my existing tutorial on how to do that with a custom form or a custom uh custom code to build build that form or you could use it right inside this forms engine and i would actually say building it inside this forms engine would make the most sense that way it's reusable those types of actions you wouldn't build the forms engine the, the contact us to be a standalone component but you would whatever pieces that you need to build up that contact us form that's not built into this forms engine by default you would build into this forms engine uh, such as new custom fields or new save actions. Um, so out of the box, some cool things that are different from web forms markers is the ability to kind of define sections. So you could build columned interfaces here. You can do this by adding a section and then you can specify CSS classes. So you could say, this is a cold mid six. And then you'll notice that it's actually now uh, a two column uh, interface. So you could build these grid type uh, forms right inside this, this, uh, this new forms engine. Um, some other things, uh, let's go back. Um, you actually now are, are able to build multi-paged multi forms. This would allow you to build some sort of wizard uh, using the forms engine. So you could have some fields up here and then on on the net, on click, it would go on to this one and you could fill in the additional fields. A lot of the fields up here are, are pretty much the same as before. Uh, so we have a text field, 
and there's not a whole lot that you can do with this. Uh, you can uh, check and change some of the some of the HTML tags that are used, things like that. But obviously, there's some customization there. Uh, you could add in additional customizations to existing fields as well. Um, I would, in my recommendation for that, is that you would actually create a new text field that would be called text enhanced or something like that. That would allow you to build and add more parameters that you're you're you'd be looking for another thing to note about the text field is that you can go on to the performance tag uh, you can see performance of different fields so if i go all the way up to the top here let's go back uh, there you'll notice that there's a performance uh, tab uh, this is for the performance of this entire form um, since it hasn't been running you can't really see any of the performance on it currently um, so the abandonment rate, the abandon, abandonments, unique views, etc., are not visible, but obviously those would be um, if this form was running. Uh, styling, thumbnails, so you could specify a unique thumbnail for, for this form if you wanted to denote it in the, uh, the forms engine with a special icon. Um, and there's some other quick things. So let me just show, lastly, um, the submit button. So go ahead and do submit. We have, again, the performance tab, which is not enabled currently, but once the form was active, you would probably see, be able to see performance data on this, this, this uh, submit button. You can uh, specify different uh, actions for the submit button. So if you wanted it uh, to, instead of be a submit, you wanted it to be a next, so it would take you to the next, uh, cancel. You wanted to take you to the next page then you would make it a submit action that takes you to the next page instead of submit um, i'm just going to change it to submit and really quickly uh, you'll see this area at the bottom here submit actions you'll notice that it's the options are pretty limited uh, you can trigger goals and things like this um, you notice that there's not an option to send email um, you could still send email, but you'd have to use marketing automation to do that. Um, so you trigger a goal and then that would trigger um, your mar marketing automation. Your flowchart would basically trigger a some sort of email when some sort of tr that triggering of that goal would trigger an email basically. Uh, so you'd be using your marketing automation to do that rather than uh, create it right for this interface. Some other things are missing uh, is none of the X connect connectivity. Uh, you can't um, basically add this data to XConnect out of this interface. Um, some other things, if you wanted, is to send data to an external system. Things like that are not built by default, so you would have to uh, build additional submit actions. Some other things from WebForms markers I also don't notice here is uh, some validations. So I don't believe there's a ability to add validations currently with this version of the forms engine. But obviously what I feel like this was, was a, hey, web forms markers is great. Let's go ahead and build a new forms engine that's more MVC based. Um, and that's what they've done. But there are some areas where they need to expand upon uh, what's built. So they will be doing that. It just haven't, haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, lastly, there's no conditional rules like if, if this text box is filled in, um, the button hides or something. I don't know why you would want to, to do that, but that would be uh, something that you could potentially do with performance markers, which you can't currently do now. So um, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and apply and just save this real quick. Anyways, this concludes today's session. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to be doing more videos on this forms engine, how to make customizations to it, and start showing it in action on your website. So please be on the lookout for those. All right. Have a good one. Bye.